Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is another Footies Friday, Footies Batch 3. That's what this loading screen is explaining. That's what's coming today with new Footies SBCs, objectives, and the, basically the most insane set of cards, Batch 3, that we have seen in packs yet this promo. I want to talk about the content we could be getting today and how it is going to affect this game and also talk about the FIFA 22 beta a little bit because I know some of you guys are playing that. Um, but today's a big day for FIFA 21 and I want to start off by talking about this Friday, this promo Friday with the loading screen because there's a lot we can, I think, understand from this loading screen and I think what EA is trying to tell us is these are the three main types of cards that are going to be in packs today. Path to Glory, Summer Stars, and some team of the season items. Now I know team of the seasons were included in batch number two with guys like Neymar, with guys like Messi, with guys like uh, Cristiano Ronaldo being their team of the season items in packs. I think some cards that are team of the seasons that are still very elite level, high tier, their highest rated version is a team of the season card. I think those are going to stay in packs, like a Varane, like Lewandowski that we saw on the loading screen, like maybe Mbappe who doesn't have a summer stars or a path to glory card. But since I think since I think we saw that Ronaldo on the loading screen as a Summer Stars item, that really to me um, makes me think that we are going to see Cristiano Ronaldo's Summer Stars item. I think we're going to see Lionel Messi's Summer Stars item. And I also think that we are going to see Neymar's Summer Stars item all be released back in packs today. I don't think that since Neymar was not on the loading screen that he would not be uh, re-released. If EA decided to go out and not re-release 99 Neymar, 99 Messi for whatever reason, I think that'd be a huge, huge buzzkill. I mean, they've released everything in packs so far. Team of the Year's, team of the seasons. They just, they know they have to go all out today. And I think that they will do that. So I expect to see all the summer stars cards and packs today. Um, I expect to see all of the path to glory cards, literally everything, right? I think what it's going to be is like the best version of each card that is, you know, every person, every player in FIFA, I think their best version will be in packs today with some exceptions. But that's why I think they chose to show Lewandowski on the stream as on the front screen as well, because he doesn't have a path to glory or a summer stars. So it'll be his team of the season. Now, of course, people saw that loading screen and they started to sell things off already. Take a look at these price drops. Griezmann, 450,000 coins. Just yesterday, he was about 100K up. Big time panic selling there. Foden is down a bunch. He's on the loading screen, of course. Havertz um, has been moving around in price. These Path to Glory cards are so, so rare. Um, and I think they're going to get packed a lot today, but they're still going to maintain to be pretty rare cards, right? Look at this Militao from 580K down to 485, kind of bounce back up. But all of this stuff is going lower today. If you guys remember batch one and batch two, when those cards were re-released, the amount of supply then was crazy. The amount of supply today is gonna be even more insane. The amount of packs, people have been saving packs during the whole entirety of footies for this batch. I know multiple people, many people that have been doing that. And the number of packs that are being released today, even if they're untradeable packs, is just going to be so much supply for people's clubs. And of course, preview packs today. We don't have any new pack code yet as I'm recording this video this evening, but I would not be surprised if there was a new pack code for a new preview pack release. But I would expect to see like the 88 plus star rare mega players pack. That's a huge preview pack that supplies the market a lot. I would expect to see a lot of that today as well. Now, speaking of some of those packs, I just want to remind you that, of course, batch three best of re-releases is confirmed. I had some people messaging me and saying, hey, do we know this is confirmed? Absolutely, we do. Also, what we know is confirmed is period two of the engagement rewards um, ended August 9th. So usually they drop these engagement rewards on Fridays. I'm expecting another engagement reward today. So for most of you guys, that's going to be an ultimate pack. So add another 125k pack to your list of packs today on Friday. And also August 13th, it is going to be a prime gaming pack day as well. Seriously, there are tons and tons of packs getting released today on this game. Saved up packs, you know, 87 times 10s, 85 times 10s that people have been saving up, 82 plus player picks, not even to mention the icon swap packs, which I'm going to be getting myself here in just a bit. I've got a couple tokens that I'm going to be submitting and getting these players, right? It's going to be an insane amount of packs open today, tradable or untradable. And that's going to make all of these cards that are going to be re-released like the summer stars, like the team of the seasons, 
and like the path to glory cards they're going to drop a ton in price just like we've seen before so they're going to get really low in that first 30 minutes to an hour time frame some of them are going to bounce back up there's going to be a lot of fluctuation today so definitely if you want to try to trade and make some coins you can definitely 100 percent do that with those cards as they get panic sold and supplied today on the market now that's enough talk about market and stuff like that let's talk about content for a little bit what kind of sbc's could we be seeing today now of course we're all excited about the footies vote winner we're gonna have to see who ends up winning today but between albamiang and marcial that was the vote on wednesday that sbc will be dropping today I honestly think it's going to be Martial, but that'll be one of many SBCs we could see today. Um, of course, we had the Gelson Martins and the dynamic duo for Gelson Martins and the uh, Fabregas yesterday, which was an insane SBC set. But you're going to have even more players coming today, at least one player SBC with that Martial. One thing I'd also expect to see today is some sort of re-release. They've done this two times in a row now, so I expect them to do a, th a third time around is the footies player pick. And this SBC, if they drop it today for batch three, could be mental, right? Remember the footies player pick for batch one with team of the year cards, with what if cards, with, um, you know, like the, the future stars and everything. And now footies player pick two, I think they could be releasing a footies team three player pick today as well. This could be an insane SBC with multiple 99 rated cards that are in packs between path to glory and summer stars items. I really hope they do another footies player pick today. Um, and I also hope that they release some sort of other footies favorite SBC player. We could have like two SBC players today. We could have, I mean, if they really wanted to go all out, they could do end of an era Messi. I don't know if that's even possible. If they make it a PSG card or a Barcelona card, but that that's, I guess, potentially could be thrown out there as an SBC uh, for today. But what I would be um, more apt to think we would see on the game today would be that Martial or a Bamiang SBC, some sort of other footies favorite, and then that footies player pick um, SBC as well, hopefully repeatable. Now, objective wise, I think a lot of people have forgotten about this, but we will see the winner of the Amavi and Denayer objective, which looks to be Jordan Amavi. So I think he's going to be the um, objective player that we will see today inside of the game. It'll probably show up in here like it did the last time we had an objective. Of course, the dynamic duo of Vitzel and Monier is going away. I don't think this is going to be replaced. Uh, I think this is going to go away. I think the Amavi is going to come in and that'll be our objective for today. So that's really all I'm expecting for objectives. And it really does look like they're pushing us towards the League One. So if you have a lot of fodder today, and let's say the Marshall SBC is too much, or there's an SBC they released that you're not super duper into, with the release of the Skelson Martins with the Amavi SBC, it looks like they're maybe pushing us towards League One, which would make sense because after this weekend, of course, right now, we have Serie A, Weekend League Plus, Objective um, Red Picks, Extra Red Picks. We have one league left they have not done, and that is the League One. So, a Renato Sanchez, footies item. This is the final countdown and the final potential for that card in the next week or two. It would make sense if it would be coming this next week. So, we'll hopefully, if you have some fodder, maybe you save it a little bit of that for that potential SBC, right? That's just kind of something to stick up there in your brain and see what happens with it. So it's going to be an insane Friday, right? With those 99 rated cards in packs, with all of the swaps packs that are out, people are going to be on a pack opening uh, spree today. There's going to be tons of packs open that is going to affect the market a lot. And it should be some pretty good content, right? With all those SBCs, the Fridays where it's a new batch getting released in packs are also very, they're just very, very hype Fridays. So I'm excited to see what comes today content wise. I'm going to be watching the market a little bit. Um, things that I could see move on the market today might be rare golds and that low tier fodder market. Once again, if they release a footies player pick for batch three and it requires rare golds and it requires 80 rated squad, 81, 82 rated squads, kind of like it did for the Gelson Martins SBC and that 87 times 10, you might see some of this lower tier fodder go up even more than it already has. 84s are up a little bit. They're back at six point, uh, just over 6K a piece. Earlier this week on Wednesday, they were down at like 5K. They spiked when the 87 times 10 repeatable came out. Some of them went up even a little bit more yesterday with the um, 
with the Gelson Martins SBC coming out, but it's going to be a, a mad mix today because, of course, a lot of supply, a lot of untradeable supply is going to be hitting people's clubs. But if that footy's player pick is, you know, if there's a batch three player pick, again, you think about 99 Ronaldo, 99 Messi, 99 Neymar, these cards that are going to be in packs, people are going to go all out. They're going to go all out today. This is then, this has been, again, like I mentioned, some people have been saving packs for weeks. For this day because they were waiting until the best cards were available in packs man somebody got a literal 350k undercut on this Harrods on bid that's how dead the market is right now that's actually kind of crazy but wow 1.03 open bid on this uh, maradona as well if i can sell anyway the trader inside of me is going crazy right now if i can sell my Havertz, i'm gonna go buy that maradona because that is flippable as well anyways it's just gonna be a crazy day on the market it's gonna be a crazy day um um, on this game, finish up your icon swaps. If you can, that'll be a good way to get those packs. And those should be incredible today. It's going to be a lot of fun pack opening. And of course, market movements as well. I'm expecting some huge fluctuations on the cards that go in packs, panic selling and supply, then a little bit of a rebound on some of those items. Now, one thing I do want to also talk about today is the beta, the FIFA 22 beta. I just want to talk about it for a little bit. Um, of course, the beta was released yesterday, and I actually have the beta. Um, I have access to the FIFA 22 Ultimate Team beta. But what I wanted to mention is, what I wanted to mention is, I want to show you some tweets right here. This is from an actual community manager. His name is Zaro. He works on FIFA. There is going to be information released today, and I, I don't think they talked about it in here. Yeah, right here. On the, the so EA streams every single Friday on a stream called Top Bins, right? They stream Top Bins. That's the name um, of their Twitch stream. And there's probably going to be more information released today about FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. They're going to answer some more questions because that uh, Zaro, he works at EA again. Um, he tweeted out earlier this week, said, hey, what kind of questions do you have? So even though a lot of stuff today is focused on footies, it's focused on the content and stuff like that. I would just kind of keep an eye out for a little FIFA 22 information from that top bins stream that EA puts on every single Friday, like an hour, it's like 30 minutes to an hour before the content drop. So just kind of keep your eyes uh, ready and keep watch for that content today as well, because I know that a lot of you guys have the 22 beta. A lot of you guys want to get on it and you want to grind it. And there was some issues with it. There's a lot of stuff going on on Twitter. Again, again, don't post pictures of the beta if you have it because that can easily get you banned get you lose your access to the beta and maybe even ea banning you and you not being able to play fifa on that account so that would be a big disappointment of course if that happens so just be very very careful with that again uh today if you are playing the beta but for real i think today is going to be the culmination of footies i think this legit day is going to be the culmination of the footies promo with all the insane cards coming into packs packs that people have saved 86 plus player picks, 87 times 10, 82 plus. Pl I mean, there's just packs galore today. And I think the word that's going to sum up footies batch three is going to be packs. So that's the video for today, boys. Again, it's going to be a very, very hype Friday. I'll be streaming it all live down link in the description on Twitch. We'll be looking at the market, looking at some packs and just seeing what kind of crazy content EA releases today on friday so if you enjoyed this video smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nate the foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace out <laughs>